Hi friends, my name is Felix. Welcome to the USA Test Prep Classroom. We are going to learn about the characters in a story today. We will read several short stories and learn about who the characters are, their feelings, and their actions. Follow me to the library where there are lots of great stories to read. Let's go! Every good story has at least one character. A character is a person or an animal in a story. A character can have feelings in a story. The character can be happy or frustrated or calm. Now it's your turn. How is this character feeling? That's right. This character is feeling angry. A character does certain things in a story. These are the character's actions. A character can talk on the phone, shake hands with someone, or even dance. Your turn. What action is this character doing? Correct. This character is taking pictures. Let's read a story together. After I read the story, let's see if we can identify the character, how the character is feeling, and what actions the character is doing. Once upon a time, there lived a little pig. This little pig had two brothers. This pig loved to build things. He had a great time building a house made out of bricks. After reading the story, I know that the character in the story is a little pig. The story is about the little pig. This little pig is feeling happy in the story. He loves to build things, so building a house would make him happy. The action the little pig is doing is building a house. Let's read another story, and let's see if you can identify the character, what the character is feeling, and the actions of the character. Your video will continue in a few seconds. For more videos like this, along with great standards-based instructional courses and powerful diagnostics, visit usatestprop.com to sign up for a free trial or demo. Your video will now continue. Once upon a time, three bears came to their house. They were out for a walk in the forest. Baby bear sat down at the table to eat his oatmeal, but it was all gone. He was really hungry, but he didn't have anything to eat. Baby bear started to cry. Oh no, poor baby bear. Now that we have read the story, who is the character in this story? I agree. Baby bear is the character. The story is about baby bear. Next question. How is baby bear feeling at the end of the story? Yeah, baby bear is sad. He is sad because his oatmeal is all gone. Last question. What is one action baby bear took when he entered the house? Correct. Baby bear sat at the table. He wanted to eat his oatmeal. Now that we have read several stories, let's go back to the classroom. Thank you for joining me in learning about characters today. See you next time.